for today's adventure, we've ended up going to one of the best fishing towns in Alaska. Here, you will see us catch sockeye salmon both during daytime and at night. We also cooked our catch and shared it amongst my family members. With that said, please enjoy our journey and stay tuned for more. What's up guys? Good morning! So right now we're driving uh, on our way to Anchorage, Alaska. We're just gonna stop by there, uh, get gas, where it's cheap. So we're gonna stop by to get gas at Costco and then we're gonna get some snacks on one of the Asian markets there. It's raining right now, it's sprinkling, it's cloudy. Um, hopefully it's not raining too hard when we get to uh, our next destination. That way it's not that too, it's not too difficult to set up our camp. So that's one of the biggest challenges. If you are uh, planning to go here in Alaska, make sure you have some rain gear. So that's that's the challenge here. It's always raining and the weather is really unpredictable. The weather forecast is not always accurate. So make sure you're ready, have your rain gear on, especially when you're out there fishing and exploring. So all right, later. Gas is 4.6 right now. Still kind of expensive because last time it was 4.3. So it's more expensive here, I guess. We are ready guys, Fire. bought some firewood. <laughs> Alright guys, we finally got our stuff set up. The camp is ready right there, the tent, canopy is ready back there. The sun is actually coming out. We got here, it's pretty dark and it's like the weather is telling us we need to go out there and fish. So we still got a few hours of fishing so it's right now it's 9.17 in the evening. Probably fish for about two hours and then hopefully we can catch something. All right, guys, we're on our way. Saldotna. This is actually my old spot, old fishing spot right here. Hopefully, we can catch something. It's getting dark. Uh oh. So, yep, no one's out here. We're all by ourselves. Aha! Hey, babe. No one's here, babe. Uh-huh. All right. Set up our gear. Yeah, water is pretty high too. Water is pretty high. Hopefully the fish is still here. <laughs> right, babe? Mm -hmm. You ready? <laughs> Fish on. Hopefully that's what we're going to hear in the next hour. Fish on. I like that sound. <laughs> All right. We're going to try it out. We're going to be careful. The water is pretty deep. And I can't see anything. I can't see the water depth. This was my old fishing spot right here last year. I was here. So. Got one. Heck yeah, this one's good, guys. Woo, about 30 minutes of fishing. Not too bad. <laughs> told you. I told you we we're gonna get one. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. See, see, it's moving. I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't know if you guys can see this. Woo, woo. It's coming. Ooh, ooh. Where are you going, fish? I'm gonna let this one make uh, go tired, babe. Are you going fish? 
Got one. They're still here, guys. All done, na. Yep, it's getting tired. Wait, wait, wait. It's kind of hard to land the fish here, guys, because it's so the water is so deep. So you kind of have to use some skills. So yeah, it's coming real close. Careful, huh? Careful, huh? Yeah, baby. Careful. Yes. Right in the mouth. Yes. Good job, babe. Yeah, good job. Ooh, yeah. First fish. Wanna hit your flashlight? Wow. Wow, it's pretty big. Look at that red. It's like weird hump. Oh, there you go. my first fish guys first sakai of today it's about 12 40 when i when i or 11 40 when i caught it we've been fishing here for about 30 minutes um yeah first one so they're still here it's gonna be slow but you just gotta work for it so you gotta work it out it's right here first sakai guys first sakai all right we're probably gonna fish for about 30 more minutes, guys, until it gets really dark. Then we're gonna head out. It's getting really dark out here. It's 12, 11.40, 11.45, so fish for about a few more minutes, 30 more minutes maybe, and then we're gonna head out. Got one, so that's, I was just happy with one fish, so thank you. Thank you, fish, for letting us catch you. Got one again, guys. Heck yeah. My reel, my reel got messed up. It's all right. Yep, went too far. Hey, <laughs> second one for tonight. Yes. Second sockeye if we land this. Woo. All right, it's coming close. It's getting closer. Come here, fish. We got you. Man, this is awesome. Two fish in about an hour. Yes, should be our last fish and then we're gonna call it a night. Oh, there you go. Getting tired. Yep, it's tired. Yep, it's right there, babe. Yes, great job. Woo, big one. Golly. Wow, right in the mouth. Look at that. Jeez, that's a big one. Look at that. Woo, you good? <laughs> this is heavy. Wow, that's a big fish. Wow. Big sockeye. Hell yeah. Fish whacker. Jeez. Is this a sockeye? That thing is huge. Jeez. This is a massive sockeye, guys. Jesus Christ. Wow. Huge. It's right here. Woo! Fat, mm -hmm. fat sockeye. That's awesome. Female. Probably full of eggs too. Alright guys. We're heading back to camp. <laughs> it's pitch black right here. It's about 12.30 in the evening. We're walking back. Good thing we're not that far. It's like, not even like, probably about a hundred feet from the 
from the fishing spot so we're good this is awesome huh babe mm -hmm. man such a great start to our camping trip two fish in about an hour The bright red color of sockeyes is what makes this fish unique and more enticing. The coloration is due to their diet mostly consisting of zooplankton and small shrimps. could not sleep so I've been trying for probably about three hours but I just could not sleep right now so the plan is to head back to the fishing spot and hopefully get my mind relax a little bit and then go back to sleep all right heading back weather is not too bad right now too it's not that cold so and it's really awesome to fish all by yourself. All right, right now it's 5.02 a.m. First gas. <laughs> Man, my line got tangled, sorry. There you go. After fishing for about two hours, I finally hooked my first fish. Big thanks to the gentleman next to me for helping me net the catch. Oh, wee. Jeez. It's pretty big, I saw it. <laughs> Wow, that's some good netting skills right there. Holy crap. AARP <laughs> member. Thank you, sir. Yes. Is that a clubber? Yeah. Yep. There you go. Yeah, you oh, deserve man. you deserve to club your own fish. That work, man. Oh the net the hook is out too. So. Yep, yep. Thank you so much. Oh yeah. That was a good hook. Ooh, first one for this morning. Still a good feeling to have them on shore. Time to head back. Eat some breakfast and probably take a nap. For lunch, deep fried salmon belly, fish head stew, grilled short ribs, and grilled sockeye. There's an unexplainable reward when you cook your catch and share it with the loved ones. How do you like that bell pepper or sweet pepper? It's creamy. Mm. Yeah, so we added some uh, cream cheese and bacon bits on that. Delicious. Mm. It's huh? good. Yummy? Yummy. Masarap. And then the short ribs. What do you think about the short ribs, babe? It's juicy. I like the barbecue marinade. Alright, I'm about to try this Kenai Reds, guys. Kenai, you know, there's different types of sockeye. There's like Copper River Reds, there's Seward Reds, there's Kenai Reds. So there's some people think it's different. They are, they're all delicious, but I think Kenai Reds, I like them better because they're they're just more fresh here. I guess they're closer to the ocean. I never had Seward Reds before, so I can only compare it with Copper River. Uh, with Copper River Reds, our experience is they're already spawned out and they're pretty skinny whenever we catch them. With Kenai Reds, they're always fat and chrome and fresh. So that's why I like Kenai Reds better than all the others. So I'm going to try this out. Enough with the talking. Yummy. Right now we're just walking, doing a little bit of exploring.
person just caught one. Woo, nice. Good job, net guy. <laughs> Nice colors. You can see the colors are here better. Ooh, plenty of people are fishing still. Not a whole lot of fish on the stringers. <laughs> 